Um. Not so big and steak. <laughs> Beast Boys. Beast Boys documentary on Disney Plus. Very cool. Sorry they didn't have. Um, I was kind of hoping for John Stamos. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, because you know. Yeah. With every word I say. There's so much stuff you didn't know. That, that, There's so much I didn't. That know. was Dennis Wilson wrote that song. And he was, did, and I didn't realize it was Dennis too that brought in. The Charles Manson thing, yes. Which I knew that they were affiliated somehow. Right. Not really affiliated, but that. It could have been. Right, right. I don't right. even know how to finish that sentence. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's, yeah. 60s were crazy. 60s Very crazy. 60s and 70s. 60s. Great music. Great music. But I love how much it showed, too, a, a part where a guy said it was very true, where the Beach Boys were like this kind of pop band. Then their next band, crazy album was Pet Sounds, so it was, there was no transition. Like, Beatles had, like, kind of a ramp up. Mm -hmm. I never really thought about that before. It's true, but how much that was. It wasn't appreciated until, like, 30 years later, so yeah. Yes, but also it's pretty obvious that the Beatles were also influenced by them. Oh, well, absolutely. And I don't know that the Beach Boys realized that until way after the fact. Yeah, maybe. I know Paul McCartney has talked about how much they listened to Pet Sounds and it inspired them to make Sgt. Pepper. So. Which you can totally, if yeah. you listen, like, which honestly, I did not realize that Pet Sounds came before. Um Actually, I didn't either. I thought I thought actually it was kind of at the same time, but it was like a, I guess a year before or something like yeah. that, yeah. 66. So there's so. like, there's obvious some influence there. Anyway, it, it's, it's sad to me. I feel like, I, I know this still happens. Maybe I'm naive. Hopefully it doesn't happen as much, but I feel like, <laughs> and this song, it reminds me of, sorry, I'm going back to like, it, <laughs> this song, Kokomo, reminds me, there's a video out there of Kermit and Piggy and the Muppets <laughs> doing this, and it's amazing. Anyway, <laughs> Beach Boys. But what I was saying, part of that, was that I, it makes me sad that producers and family get in the oh, way yeah, that of was sad. people's yeah. creativity and the ownership of songs, and then it creates this whole big thing between the band, and it's like... I feel like there's no greater love between people when a creative source is part of it, right? Like mm -hmm. there's, there's like when you create songs together, when you write music together, you hear that, you see that, fans see that for years and years and years to come. And it's beautiful and it's amazing and it makes me sad when that gets lost, not always completely with with bands with certain bands that become like so famous or like you know they just had bad um bad producers or bad um you know what's the word the um, management management yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the word when they had you know just bad management or people that were just i mean gosh it was brian wilson's father who yeah um Mark Murray, Murray, kind of Murray was. sold them out. And he sold all their all their early stuff. All the rights to their so they music, got the, it's, and it's they so never sad. got it back. And it's really sad. And then Brian and and Anderson Mike Murray. didn't talk for so long. Yeah, it's just it's so sad to me that that happens. Right. And um, anyway, you know, talk to your family. Just yeah. just and, work it out. Yeah, good times. And a quick note: uh, the first single I ever owned ever uh, okay. was in New York, where our neighbors gave away all their records, and I picked from random. Good Vibrations on the 45, 1982. And I was obsessed with it. I would listen to it like a million times over and over again. So it's like, so I always had that special, special place for the Beast Boys with them because I love that song so much. Okay. My special Beach Boys moment is listening John? to John Stamos. <laughs> um, perform Forever for Becky. Oh, yeah. Let's that's not go true. there. But like, for, for every word I say. <laughs> he make you laugh. Huh? Yes, forever. Oh. That's their wedding song. It's their wedding song. And he sang with the Beach Boys. They're good friends. Yeah, he played the drums. Yeah. And the Beach Boys were on Poe House. They so. did. We saw that. You know. Okay. Um, why do you love Good Vibrations so much? Well, because it was the first record I wrote. No, I know. But like, also, what what made you love it so much? Uh, um, I put it on the spot. You told me that before. Because you like the like pickup and the oh, because it, it speeds up, it slows down. It's like the way it's just all over the place is great. <laughs> I like a song like that too. 
Uh, this review whew. under the rails. <laughs> I know my arm's getting tired. <laughs> this is what they call an arm tired review. Oh my god, damn. <laughs> that is sore my oh, voice. Oh, my arm's probably Two asleep. Kiwi's voice. Snuggles. <laughs> Num Nums. Beach Boys. Beach Boys. Five minutes. <laughs>